Hello everyone, my name is Priya Chatterjee Ray and welcome or welcome back to the channel. You've taken the CAT exam already and I'm sure you're anxiously awaiting your CAT scores. I was in your place three years ago so I know exactly what you're going through. This period between the CAT exam and the wait for the results as you wait for the response sheets to come out, for your percentiles to come out, for your score cards to come out, it can be a very anxious time with people often wondering what to do ahead. Um, Let's just say that you've put in a lot of hard work till now, I'm sure. And if you have put in hard work, uh, honestly, and with full motivation, I'm sure that that hard work will pay off for you. Um, I know that this anxiety is at a point because I keep receiving all of these queries about what to do now uh, from you. My comments are filled. My DMs are filled. My Telegram group is buzzing about this all the time. Um, and... The worry that I see most amongst you is what are you going to do if your score is not a good one? You're worried about your CAT score not being good enough, your NMAT score not being good enough, or your ZAT score not being good enough for you to land yourself in a business school of your dreams. Um, some people are also worried what about what they'll do if they've already taken a drop year for CAT and um, if they feel that they've messed up this year as well. Um, is there an alternative to taking another gap year? Is there um, a job you can apply for? Do you actually take another job year? What is it that you do? Well, trust me, um, seeing your fears uh, is something that I personally don't enjoy. So I really have been trying my best to look for an alternative or a solution for you in case you're worried about taking another drop year or if you're worried about your scores. I've asked around um, with my friends and my I am and the bar network to see and find out from people who took drop years or who faced these issues that you are right now and i came across this emerging field of data science that you can actually look at going forward the field itself is an emerging field which means that there is a huge scope of growth and improvement in the future and the companies including the one i will speak to you about in this video are looking to hire data science professionals and offering average packages of nearly 10 to 20 lakhs per annum which is actually equivalent to a lot of placements straight out of b school but at a far higher roi than your actual um, B-School placements. In fact, uh, a very cheeky addition I must add is that data science, the entire field, has been named as one of the sexiest, not one of the, the sexiest profession of the century by the Harvard Business Review. Um, a very reputable academic journal, in fact. So it was quite interesting for me to read that. I think I read it day before yesterday in, as a part of my research. So I thought it's something that I should let you know about. So a lot of you will be wondering, why is Priya talking about data science all of a sudden? She's an MBA graduate, what's the deal, right? I asked my friends the same thing, but I was amazed to find out about the overlap between the world of data science and MBA aspirants. A lot of the topics that you prepared for the CAT exam, be it, uh, be it statistics, ratio proportion, profit and loss, um, logical reasoning, data interpretation, all of these from the fundamentals or the very basis um, of the data science world, right? These are the must-haves that you should know when you enter into a world like this. So even if your CAT exam didn't go well, you can take your preparation and your hard work, mold it and enter this world of data science and still get into top companies in business leader roles and earn up to 20 lakhs per annum with data science. So you get similar roles as MBA grads without having to do the MBA when you just change or take another track instead of the regular business track. So it's almost like a hack, um, but of course it requires you to take a different track. And that brings us to the question of how can you make this transition? Um, while I was researching data science, I also researched about where you can learn this from because I don't come to you with problems. My job is to give you solutions to the problems, which is why I did so much research into this field and try to figure out where you can learn these skills from, how you can learn to change this track to get this IIM level of learning experience and outcomes. It is this that brought me to one of the most sought after professional um, courses, which I've been hearing about off and on um, from my network as well. In fact, it was at a work event last week where a friend of mine from IIM Calcutta introduced me to um, this program or course, if that's what you want to call it, which is the Newton School's premium data science course. So first, let me tell you a little bit about the Newton School itself, right? It's an online educational institute, which was founded by two IITians, Nishant Chandra and Siddharth Maheshwari in 2019. Now, interestingly, Nishant himself is from IM Calcutta. He's an alumni. 
um, of I am Calcutta and the two of them have poured in all of their experiences including their um, time at I am Calcutta and the experiences they had there into developing a curriculum for this course and with them they've taken 85 plus data scientists to pour in their expertise into this course right so their curriculum covers all industry relevant tools and skills making sure that the learning experience that you take away from this course is no less than something that you would learn at an Indian Institute of Management. Let me explain to you why I think the learning experience at the Newton School would be something that's equivalent to an IM, right? Um, the mentors that you have at this school aren't any ordinary teachers, right? They are industry specialists who are currently working in companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Lenskart, Swiggy, etc. So they provide one-on-one -on -one mentorship and all the projects that you undertake during this course are guided by the, the top professionals from this company or all of the companies um, that I've mentioned to you before. How that is similar to an IAM is because like we are led or taught by top business leaders who come and speak to us, who sometimes take courses with us, these experiences add a lot to our learning. So when you're actually working one-on-one -on -one with these people, you take all of the experiences, all of the learnings that they already have about the industry and you add it or you have it as a base level for you to grow from, which basically prepares you for this world better so than any other um, official degree or official certification course could, right? It creates a synergy that helps you move forward in this business world. And even better to make sure that you are not just taking away theoretical knowledge, but some rich hands-on experience as well that you can add to your resume. Um, the course comes with certified projects from renowned companies like Tata, BCG, uh, KPMG and PwC that provide real world exposure to you. Um, so not only do you walk away with some real world exposure certifications about working on projects that are currently working live or in the real world, but you also have additions to your CV that you can speak about when you're going into the field itself or if maybe four years or five years later down the line you want to go into um, an MBA again. Now we all know that um, one of the main reasons people seek an MBA is for placements, right? You're looking to get into job roles that not only pay you well, but provide you an avenue of growth. Now, the same thing applies to the Newton School's course as well, right? Um, in this final step of the journey, you have um, the cracking of placements into top companies, which is very important and basically which forms the basis of the rest of your life. Now, Newton School in this regard has a network of 2000 plus uh, active hiring partners who are looking to hire students like you um, who are job ready from day one, right? And that is what New Newton School makes you. They make you ready for your job starting from day one. When I went into my internship, I had to learn a lot after I had started my job. I wasn't job ready on the first day. The first time I ever worked was in my internship and um, my actual MBA journey itself is very theoretical. But uh, what Newton School does is that before you go into your placements or your interviews with these people who are actively seeking to hire you, you go through 10 plus company specific and role specific mock interviews. Now, these mocks are something that we do informally in our business schools, but this course provides it to you in a formal manner. With each mock, you receive personal feedback and special sessions to work on your weaknesses. And this rigorous preparation prepares you or ensures that you are no less than an MBA grad, which is a lot more than I could have said for my own preparation because all of the um, mocks that I was seeking and all of the help that I was seeking in my interview preparation stage came from me reaching out to seniors and me reaching out to other people in the industry to help me with mocks or with case interviews, right? But here, the, the institute itself and the course itself comes with the guarantee of doing these preparation sessions with you to improve your weaknesses, to make sure that you are ready at for anything that these companies throw at you. And one more thing which I find so incredibly amazing, and this is something I wish that we had, uh, was the fact that even after placements, if you want to switch jobs, the Newton School is more than happy to help, right? Their lifetime placement assistance ensures that they are with you even after your course is over, right? Um, it means that your future is insured. If you're ever looking to seek another job, if you're not happy with the company you're working with, they are there to help you make that switch, prepare you for the switch if need be. They are there to form a safety net for you should you not um, like what you are doing. 
why MBA colleges don't even let you sit for more interviews after you secure your first job. And I've heard horror stories about this. I was lucky enough that my business school didn't do this, but I've heard horror stories about a lot of colleges that do this. You just take one interview, you get the job, that's it. You can't do anything else. Newton School um, has a multiple or like a huge pool of companies ready for you, right? They will go through the hassle of arranging all of your interviews so that you can focus on the most important part, which is learning, improving yourself and being job ready from day one. Um, and I think that's what makes them so different or so unique in the industry. And that is why I think that this is something that you should really look out for. So I think with this video, what I'm trying to tell you is that you should go ahead, learn, explore and look for new opportunities. Um, I did go ahead and do this research for you, but I think that it is also something you must do for yourself. Um, explore this world of data science, big data analytics, because these are things, um, these are emerging industries or fields that you should actually actively be looking at or be seeking out, right? Because they help um, prepare you for the for the world that's always changing. In fact, a lot of MBA aspirants as well, um, alongside your MBA or um, after your MBA, you should definitely look for these opportunities to make sure not, not only that you are um, always employable, but also to make sure that you always have a safety net of jobs that you can look at, right? Um, I think that's all I had to say about this. Uh, do let me know if you want me to speak about any other industries and the um, pathway into them. Um, make sure to check out uh, the Newton School. I'll leave their links in the description box below. So like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell, comment, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know if you thought it was helpful and if you want more such videos. Um, and I will try my best to find such opportunities for you. As always, it is not my job to spoon feed you. So I will go as far as possible to find an opportunity for you to act on it is your job. Um, I hope your preparations for the rest of the exams are going well. I hope you are building a portfolio of opportunities for yourself beyond just the CAT exam. And um, yeah, I think again, I have gone into this huge um, saga of Gyan. So I will stop now. Best of luck and keep working hard and I'll see you in the next one.